Welcome back to She Snobbish. Guys, today I wanted to show you how I created a $500 Joe Malone luxury candle. I created my own scent and I also took out time to make sure I locate a very, very solid comparable glass container to actually have the candle in. So um, if you think you're going to enjoy this or maybe even you want to try it yourself, stay tuned. I'm going to show you step by step how I accomplished it. I'm also going to show you every item that I purchased and um, hopefully it turns out great for you. If you're new to my channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how you feel about the outcome of the candle. And also, make sure you hit that notification bell to be notified when I'm uploading a new video. Okay guys, to start off, of course you will need to make sure you choose essential oils that you really like. You can mix and match some of them in order to make sure you accomplish the scent that you would like in your candle. Uh, for me, I love anything citrusy, fresh smelling, anything in that direction. I'm not a big vanilla person, but I did choose to get some vanilla fragrance as well just to throw in some warmness of um, some warmness into the particular fragrance that I created again I have some bergamot I have some lemon and I also got some vetiver along with again a little bit of vanilla so of course you would um, try to select the essential oils that you really gravitate to and then make your decision from there but these are the four that I chose. I have come up with a concoction that really works for the candle scent that I want uh, illuminated through my home. Okay, and next, these essentials is very, very important in order to get your wicks stabilized in the bottom of your glass container. We're starting off with, um, with some candle wick tabs. Again, I got this from Hobby Lobby, and I also have some um, stickers, some heat resistant candle wick stickers from Amazon. I wanted to make sure they were heat resistant. As you know, that candle wax do get a little hot. And I also got some wicks that I can determine the length of each one. And guys, here I've also went and got a pot so I can actually do some of the melting. I picked these up from Walmart it was. And I also got this little tin pour in case I decided I wanted to use that. Again, this is a very deep pot that I chose to get with a lid in order to um, melt my candle wax. This deepest pot was $9.99 and I believe this little little tin pull um tin pitcher was maybe four or five bucks okay guys i also went to the dollar store and i purchased about 10 of these glass uh 10 of these candles in order to one use the candle wax out of it and the event I ran out of what I'm my other wax that I'm going to use and also to help dilute the color a bit um, these are still usable after you decide to use the wax or otherwise you can melt it and put your fragrance in if you choosing to uh, just pour it back in after we melt it down so I have a whole box of them right here that's what that is so those are just that's just additional candle wax here you will see where I had purchased four bags of 100% natural soy wax from Hobby Lobby and um, again the color to me was a little more beige than I like hence that's why I had bought the other candle to kind of lighten up that color 
once I pour them and melt down this wax. And again, I bought four of these bags from Hobby Lobby. This is soy wax. And one thing I like and have experienced with soy wax is it distributes the smells of the oils just a little bit better than the standard wax. So um, I'm hoping it does this in the candle that I create as well. This is the glass container that I purchased from Pottery Barn. Yeah, Pottery Barn. Yeah, I purchased this from Pottery Barn for 50 bucks. I feel like it was a great buy. One, I want when creating a luxury candle, I didn't want to skimp out on the canister. Um, it is heavy and they did have it on sale so um again guys it was 50 bucks let me see if i can tilt it over again i did get this from pottery barn for 49 dollars and um it is very good quality very heavyweight and it does have a luxury feel and it drew me right away as soon as i um seen it in the store I knew that it would give me the exact look that I was trying to achieve. And also guys, while I was in Walmart, I was able to pick these little glass containers up for $3 and some change. Um, I feel like they would make a good, uh, a very good candle size as well. Um, and it does provide a luxury style look. So stay tuned I, for the melting part. And the, lastly, guys, what I want to show you, um, lastly, um, with these can canisters and stuff, I did create my own label and I like it a whole lot. It's very stylish. It has a luxe feel to it. And I feel like the smell, the, the scent that I created uh, will give you thoughts of success, peace, and wealth. So that's why I put those things on there. So let's stay tuned and let's dive in and try to get this melting going. So let's go. Okay, right now I have my pot on the stove and I'm getting ready to start. I've washed it really well and I let the heat um, dry it out. And also I have the melting process started on the dollar store candles that I actually purchased. So let's um, give that some time to melt. Guys, I also uh, forgot to mention to you all that I was using these bamboo skewers as um, a method of sitting on the top of these particular uh, can of the glass container in order to hold um, the candle wick up while we are pouring. So I forgot to mention that. So again, these are bamboo sticks. Again, you can pick these up from uh, Dollar Tree as well. Okay, so I've actually opened uh, the braided wick up and I'm, I'm going to unravel it and pretty much measure. I want to use the whole width because I need to have enough to be able to tie onto my skewer here. Matter of fact, I'm just going to go ahead and tie it. Just so I can know it's uh, secured when I get ready to pour. So, okay. So, I'm going to cut. I'm going to give it a little bit more. Because I also have to fish this through here. And I want to be able to create a knot. I'm only going to need four of these. I'm going to fish the bottom up. So I'm going to give it a little bit more than I actually need. So I can tie a knot here. And then I will attach these um, fire resistant uh, candle wick stickers to the bottom of the, the container. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit, um, a little bit more length. Go ahead and fish this through, like so. Okay, again, you wanna fish it through here. I'm gonna go ahead and tie a knot.
Okay, I pulled the stickers out and now I want to get them mounted down in the bottom of my container here. And I'm just gonna estimate around about where I want them. And then this paper is just a little tricky for you to pull it off, but it's sticky, it'll take it. And here is my candle wick. I'm just sitting it down. I wish it was clear, but as you can see, it's gonna hold it pretty well. And that slides. Um, and if you have too much, just roll it down as such. You'd rather have too much than not enough. And then just sit it right on the top. And it should be fine like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other three off camera. And um, that way you can see exactly how it turned out. Okay guys, I got all my wicks in place and they were relatively easy to put in place. Again, if you have too much, you could just simply roll it up as such. You rather have too much than not enough. And then I'm gonna take some tape and secure these to the side to keep them in position. So, so far so good guys. Um, the candles are pretty much melted and I do have my pot on. And I'm getting ready to pour it in my wax. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, I'm going to try to pick one of these up. Uh, and. Okay. And that's it melted. And I'm just going to pour it.
Okay guys, as I'm allowing the melting process to take place, I'm going to end up putting in maybe another bag or two into um, this container just to make sure that we have well enough to um, fill our glass canister. So stay tuned. As you can see this pot that I got is not very hot at all so I'm just gonna at this point I did let it cool a bit now I'm just gonna pour slowly So guys, so far this is what it looks like. It's starting, it's starting to solidify a little bit at the bottom, but I'm, I'm gonna put a little bit more in it. Um, I have it warming up right now, and hopefully, um, after letting it sit over 20 for 24 hours, um, maybe it will be solid enough for me to move. But at this point, I'm not gonna move it anymore. I want it to settle with a precise luxury look. And the key to that is not moving it, keeping it clean, keeping it neat. So let's wait 24 hours and then I'll pick back up from there. Okay. 